Okay, drink break. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Just don't let the water bottle show, it's ugly. Okay. You literally, la she lasted like three questions and she had to go get her coffee. <laughs> Starting. Hey everybody, so we have had a lot of questions from a lot of you on Instagram and in person and stuff just about us in general, um, our marriage and so we thought we would film a fun little Q&A for you guys and we're gonna post it on our YouTube, my YouTube channel if you wanna even call it a channel, we only have a couple videos so far but we're gonna put it on there so that you can go back to it anytime but um, Michael, are you excited? Oh, beyond excited. <laughs> Michael uh, goofs off a lot on my Instagram stories, but he doesn't do a ton of this kind of stuff, so. We'll see how this goes. You'll be fine. I'm already done. <laughs> He's about to bail. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, how much time do you spend at your parents' house when you're on break? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how much uh, food is over there, I guess. <laughs> That's very true. So Michael is always like, if we are, have been really busy working on something and I don't have dinner plans, he'll be like, you wanna go see what's at, at your mom's house? <laughs> so go, we, I go raid my mother-in-law's fridge. And we always go over to their house for Sunday dinner. Who does the most cooking? <laughs> uh, yeah. I cooked for the first time the other day he though. He did, he had never made a dinner. I don't think. I've done breakfast, but not yeah, a, no. like actual dinner. I think his extent of cooking is eggs and bacon. Or have you done bacon? Mm, probably not. <laughs> okay. Eggs and toast. In the and summer, I do actually. I take that. I do. I don't cook, but in the summer, I grill out. I'm the grill. Yes. Grill guy. Yes. So he so. grills, and that's you. So you're good at meat. He's good at meat, eggs, toast. I'm a man. I like meat. <laughs> Pop tarts. How many states have you been to together? Together? Well, I'm only missing two states overall. So. So I would say together we've been to like 45, probably. 40? 45. No, I'm pretty sure we've been to 48. The only two I haven't been with you is Vermont and Rhode Island. Okay, I've been to all 50 states because I went to New England before we got married. And so um, he's only missing two New England states. So we're going to have to hit those up really soon. Maybe this fall. All right, I want to pause for a second because I want to go get my iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Bloopers. <laughs> all right, now we're back. Just had to get a little iced coffee. Makes the day better. Okay, so how did you start? For Talk about addictions. Hey! <laughs> you brought it to me, so he's my, uh, what's the word? Uh, he's an enabler. I'm an enabler. He brings it to me all the time. Okay, so how did you guys start flipping houses? Well, we, I went to college and I had student loans and it was depressing. <laughs> <Very>. <laughs> Having those student loans, we're not like, we're not debt people by any means. We are trying to figure out a way to pay it off pretty Quit. fast. <laughs> and so we got the idea of flipping a house. Her parents flipped houses and my dad did construction work. So we thought, hey, let's do this. Let's try we, this we out. We thought it was going to be a cakewalk, like a piece of cake. So, and we quickly learned it was not. Um, yes. But it was so worth it, and once you get your first one under your belt, I feel like you learn so much, especially him since he's doing the construction part. But I learned so many things about the design process and like what colors are good and help you know help a house sell and all that kind of stuff. So we learned a ton, and I feel like it was so much easier. The hardest time part now. about that flip was that it was our first house, and we lived in it basically while we flipped it. Oh, that was tough. And that was tough. We have some funny <laughs> stories. But yeah, basically we bought this house, we lived in it, and we and it, within a year we sold it and we completely paid off his student loans and we were able to buy him a new vehicle. We were able to pay cash for it. It was an amazing feeling and it was super, um, I don't know, just... Very re rewarding feeling. Yeah, very rewarding. <laughs> and so, Selling yeah. that and be able to Yeah, so we did that. I think that was the first, one year after we got married we were able to, was it one year? No, two years after we got married we sold it and um, we only had the house for a year. And then we, we were able to pay off that those student loans and it was like a weight lifted and we promised ourselves we would never do loans again. So we are, um, we still stuck to it, even car loans, and we're really, really it was just an awesome, rewarding experience. For so sure. that's how we got into flipping houses. Should we tell a story? We were getting ready to leave for a cruise yeah. out on the West Coast, Alaska cruise. And we were in a rush just trying to get things done. Our 
kitchen wasn't remodeled yet, it was ripped out. And so we had like a dishwasher just hooked up. Just sitting, sitting there. Sitting there. Yep. And uh, Courtney decided to do some dishes um, <laughs> before we left. Just throw some dishes in the dishwasher and she turns it on and we heard some water running. And I, I mean, I think I went upstairs. Yeah, I think yeah. We, it ran for a while and <laughs> we heard water running. And we go down there and I go into the basement and there's water just pouring out of the ceiling of the basement above the kitchen. And you mean below the kitchen? Oh yeah, below the kitchen. Did, she didn't know that I had unhooked the water, the drain line to the, the uh, dishwasher. dishwasher. And so all the dirty dishwater was just spraying out in the kitchen floor and dripping through it all the way to the basement. It was a lot of water. It was a lot of water. Yeah, but the, but the funny part is, <laughs> that was funny. It was stinky water, so like, think dirty dishes and warm water. Yeah, stinky water just sprayed all over the kitchen floor. And I mean, a lot of water. I'm talking we flooded the kitchen. Yeah. But the funny part of it was, Courtney, since we were leaving, you wanted to, to tell clean, this part. <laughs> wanted to clean up the water on the floor, so she got my shop back. And the thing she didn't know about my shop vac, yes, it sucks up water, but it has to be... You have to put, uh, like a, you have to put a special filter in it to actually keep the water in the um, shop bag. So she's sucking it up, cleaning it up, gets it all cleaned up, and she turns around and had sprayed all the way out on the other side of... It had sprayed the, all over the other kitchen wall. So I thought I was backing all this water up and helping so much, and I was actually just soaking the drywall. It was going straight through the shop back, out the other end, onto the yes. wall. And so more <laughs> stinky, nasty, dirty Sprayed dish everywhere. water all over the walls. Yeah, so that was one very memorable experience that we had built very in our memorable. first house. Yep. Yeah, so number one tip, if you flip a house, make sure the drain line is hooked up on your dishwasher before you use it. And you're using your shop back the right way. Yes. <laughs> Here's another one. How did you guys meet? We met at a youth convention in Indiana. I was 17 and you were 14. I was a baby. Was I a was baby. just a freshman in high school. Yeah, so, crazy. And actually, William, uh, Brooklyn's husband, uh, introduced us. Yes. So. So I very vaguely remember meeting him, which is kind of funny. We met at this youth convention, it's called Youth Challenge. And um, we, I, I had hung out with Will. I think I met Will for the first time that weekend and I knew his sister or whatever, but I met Brooklyn's husband, William. And then you, I don't know how we met, you were just hanging out with him. And then he just said, this is my friend, Michael. And I was like, hi, Michael. And that's about that's all about I remember. It, yeah. <laughs> so then a couple months later, I went to another like church convention. It was not a youth convention, but it was called IHC. And I, I think we started talking online or you found me on Facebook. Before Facebook, it was like MySpace. Oh man, we are, Don't, we're old. Just tell us how we are. Okay, so I think it was MySpace. Like, I feel like, did I message you or you messaged me? I don't remember. I don't remember, but we connected and I just said, hey, are you that Michael guy I met at your challenge? That Michael guy. About, yeah, what, or, or he might've said that Courtney girl, I don't know. And that's kind of what happened. So we knew that we were both going to this convention and I walked in, I feel like you texted me and said, are you coming or are you here? We didn't really know each other at all. And I walked in and there he was. I think you were at the top of the escalator. I came up the escalator. Probably a bright light behind me <laughs> glowing. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do remember what he was wearing though. He was wearing khaki pants with a black button up shirt. And he had it tucked in with the belt and I thought he was so sharp looking. <laughs> Anyways, so when I saw him at the top of the escalator, we just kind of said, hey, how are you? Good to see you again. And then we stood there and talked for two, maybe two, two time. and a half hours. It was like instant connection. I can't describe it. And literally we never stopped talking after that. And we were 15 and 18 at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's how we met. And then got married at 23 and 20. Yep. You were 23 and I was 20. Why don't we just go ahead and address the biggest one we got. We got so many questions. Do you all want any kiddos? I would say yes, yes, we definitely want some kids in the near future. So yeah, we definitely want kids. What is your favorite quality in each other? Okay, for me, I think that my favorite quality in you is that you are such a hard worker. Um, he, even if we have a day off, he is always, you know, getting a project done or um, just 
always has goals in mind and um, he gets a lot accomplished and he makes me feel like, oh my word, I've got nothing done. <laughs> no, seriously though, you're like the hardest worker I know. I think my favorite quality about you is that you're so beautiful. No. <laughs> <laughs> you are beautiful. Um, that you, you're not selfish, you're very selfless. Mm -hmm. And you think of others before yourself, and that's a very quality, good quality to have. And I gotta kiss you. <laughs> Thank you. And she is beautiful. But. Sweet. <laughs> He's so sweet. Another good quality. He's really sweet to me. So mm -hmm. find a guy that'll be that nice to you. Best gifts each other has given the other. Oh, best gifts. I, know I already what, know mine. <laughs> I know what the best <laughs> I've given you. Definitely the drone I got this year. Oh, I've man. wanted one for such a long time, and she surprised me. He's probably gonna try to figure out how to get a drone <laughs> into a husband and wife q and I can just see it just <laughs> doing a panning shot over here. No, no. <laughs> he does love it. That's the best gift I've ever given you. I think the best gift he's ever given me, and this is not for a birthday or anything, was I woke up one day and he had a little like note on my nightstand, and it said, um, dinner and a, a dinner and a show or something like that tonight get, get dressed up and I was like okay so it's, this was random no special occasion at all so I got dressed up and we went we went and saw Phantom of the Opera the Broadway tour was in our town and we went to a really fancy dinner at the place that we had gotten engaged at which or the place we ate the day we got engaged so it was super cool this was just a couple years ago so was Michael fun. was very thoughtful I think that was one of the best gifts I've ever gotten from him drinking again huh <laughs> I can't help it. You make fun of me. He brought it to me. Coffee. It's his fault. Favorite Bible verse. My favorite Bible verse is probably Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. And it's kind of a funny verse to be your favorite <laughs> about talking about dry bones. But um, I really think that a positive attitude, even if you're going through hard stuff, can um, really change your life literally can be like healing to the body so yeah that's my favorite mine would be proverbs 3 5 through 6 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths that's, and uh, that's one of my favorites too but i think that's a good one to live by totally. just trust in the lord and don't try to figure everything out on your own and just lean on him and let him guide you through yeah. life i mean I could definitely testify that if you um, dedicate everything that you want to do to God and you say whatever you want God, that He really will direct your paths in so many yeah. different ways through His Word and through friendships and you know just different people. It's tried and true. How do you manage keeping up with your house, house and other life duties while with your schedule? So that is a struggle still for <laughs> me because we're only home like two weeks out of the month and I don't want to spend like all my time cleaning and working, but I also don't really want to hire a full-time cleaner because I mean, it costs a lot of money and you know, I'm still young and I can do it. So about three, four times a year, I will hire a house cleaner when I'm coming home and I have like really tight, you know, turnarounds or whatever, uh, I will hire somebody. But other than that, I mean, I pretty much clean my own house. We're only two people, it doesn't very get that important. bad. We've, we found out it was very important that we do, like when we get home, take one or two days off. Yes. Kind of as our Sabbath to get rested yes. up. And because we're singing on Sundays, usually at a church somewhere, so we don't get that restful day. Um, and so we all usually take Monday, and sometimes Monday and Tuesday off, to rest up, um, because otherwise we just can't you know, keep working at the rate we do. But it's a challenge it's keeping a challenge. up with all the duties. Michael is Superman though. He does laundry, he cleans the showers, he helps, he does dishes sometimes. Um, he does not do toilets, but... <laughs> I don't like toilets. <laughs> he, I know I'm blessed. My sisters are always like, he does laundry? I'm like, yes he does. He's very helpful. I think he does more laundry than I, I do sometimes. start a laundry service? So if you <laughs> want to do that, push down here to subscribe. <laughs> Just kidding. What do you like to do in your spare time together? Together. Probably <laughs> just stay at home and watch yeah. TV shows or movies. Relax. <laughs> Relax. We, we are big into relaxing. Like we like to cook a meal at home for dinner. Occasionally do a puzzle together. Yes. Puzzles we like are fun. Puzzles. And every once in a blue moon, I'll get him to play Scrabble with me. I love Scrabble, but no one ever. She's wants a to beast play with at me. Scrabble. Yeah, because you kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no word thing. I just love word games. 
But he, he doesn't usually like to play But I have he, beaten you he before. Has, he's beaten so. me once. So, I mean, I'm still trying to recover from that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the messiest? I will claim it. Wow, I didn't even have to answer. <laughs> I will claim it. I'm, <laughs> I wouldn't even say I'm that messy, but compared to Michael, I'm not perfect. Kind of a neat sure. freak. Yeah, he's OCD. When we got married, I had every kind of wire hanger, plastic hanger, red hanger, blue hanger, and he had all matching hangers, and I was like, I'm a slob. No, so so we he has black hangers and I have white hangers now. Like he got he's kind of rubbed off on me. I'm definitely getting more organized the older I get, but he he's definitely neater than me. <laughs> what style of food do you prefer? Uh, probably Italian then Mexican. I like just a good old burger. Uh, burger, I like steaks, and then I like also I like Mexican food, chips and salsa. I love chips and salsa. Oh yeah, he I love ketchup. Ketchup is my condiment of of choice. Like I cover all my fries in ketchup, but he loves salsa. Mm -hmm. And your breath tells me so. <laughs> really, you went there? <laughs> yes, I did. Sometimes when he I, I I won't even know that he had it for lunch if he's out working or whatever, and I'll be like, did you eat anything? Cause your breath stinks. <laughs> What is your favorite season? Ah, oh, fall for sure. Fall. I love the clothes, the sweaters. Mm. Cozy sweaters. I like summer because I like being outdoors. I'm an outdoorsy person. Here we go. Who snores the loudest? I don't think we snore. Do I snore? I don't think so. No. Do I snore? I don't think so. Nope. No snoring. How do you stay so fit traveling on the bus all the time? Well, this past year was kind of a fail, just like the last three or four months of it, because uh, we were so busy because we had the new Christmas album, the new Christmas tour, Inspiration Encounter. We had so many things going on that I literally did not exercise the last three months of the year. That was the first time in like nine years, though. I pretty much try to exercise three to four times a week, just walking or cardio, jogging, whatever. But I that run. was a fail. I'm back at it, though. I run while we're on the road. Yeah. And at home when it's warmer. <laughs> yeah, someone else asked if we exercise together. We've tried so many times, but he leaves me in the dust. Like, I, I slow him down way too much that he can only do like a mile with me and then he, yeah, he leaves me way in the dust and he gets really bored because I'm slow. <laughs> so I'm a power walker. What is your favorite vacation spot? Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. We have me been too. to so many places over the years and Hawaii by far there's no place like it is the most relaxing place I've ever been in my life and sure. when you are so busy it's much needed um, so yeah we're going back this summer <laughs> <laughs> we just booked a week-long vacation there this summer we're so excited for our anniversary and we're celebrating nine years this year so how long have you been married uh, we got married June 4th 2011 so this year coming up it'll be nine, oh, nine years. years I can't believe it it's time flies who handles your finances <laughs> So I do a lot of the bookkeeping work yes. as far as categorizing and all that, keep everything organized. She is the budgeter. She I is the love she budgets. She is the queen like of budgets. Excel budgeting. spreadsheet, <laughs> baby, bring it on. So um, when we first got married, I don't we I had written out a budget before we got married, you know, see what kind of apartment we could afford and all that kind of thing. Um, but I just, that just fuels my fire. I love figuring out how to afford something. Um, since we're not debt people, I always make really detailed budgets when we're going to pay for certain things. And it's just fun to me. I love it. It definitely turns her crank. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, are you budgeting something over there? <laughs> but I, I, I love organization. And so I do a lot of the book. Yeah. Part, he it. enters all the receipts and all that fun stuff and <laughs> goes through and says, what did you spend at this place? And I'm like, sorry, I went shopping. <laughs> <laughs> what are our hobbies? So, um, I've got a lot of hobbies. <laughs> Outside of singing, singing is my number one thing. That's definitely not a hobby. But um, I, I went to photography school, so I've done portraits for years. I shot weddings for nine years. And then I, well, recently, this is a hobby we're enjoying together, and we're doing it right now. Yes. Um, video. We are really getting into video and lighting and stuff like that. Um, I guess it kind of stems from doing the Collinsworth Family YouTube. My brother-in-law, William, manages that, and we've been helping him on the creative side of it, and so we've been really getting into that. So, um, yeah, we've learned a lot this year about that. Um, Mine would be, I just love outdoor stuff. I love being outdoors. So anything that I can do to be in the woods or something, I love doing that. Um, but I love building, woodworking. He's um, so amazing. Our whole house, 
was all his handiwork. Like he, he did the whole thing. So. And like like she said, we've got I've actually gotten into video work. I'm video loving stuff. it though because I got a drone and like all of a sudden I have this love for videoing. Yeah. So <laughs> So and, yeah, so we've been doing that together and it's <clears> funny <throat> because all these years I did photography and a lot of the same like settings on your camera and principles apply to video. Um, and so he's been asking me all these questions. How did you do this? How do you do that? And I'm like, you are interested in this now? This is so cool. <laughs> so we're really loving doing this together. It's been super fun. And he's been a blast. He's smarter on the video side than I am, but I've been teaching him all the coloring and stuff that goes with photography. So it's been really cool learning together. So yeah, I love it. For sure. Thanks for watching this video and it's been fun putting it together for yeah. you guys. And Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about us, whether you wanted to or not. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you guys want to subscribe to this channel, then you, you can see more videos that we'll be posting in the future. And then hit the bell if you want to be notified when anyone comes up. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.